There are new questions tonight about jobs for sale in the Cook County Circuit Clerk's Office. The woman who runs the office, Dorothy Brown, is the focus of a federal probe. She's even been accused of transporting bribe money herself. CBS 2 political reporter Derek Blakely poured through the latest court documents. For five years, the feds have been investigating allegations that court clerk Dorothy Brown sold jobs in exchange for donations. The alleged going rate, $10,000. But a newly released court document claims Brown herself collected the cash. It's, uh, you know, the, your, your classic type of uh, uh, honest services fraud. Uh, accepting bribes or, or kickbacks in exchange for uh, uh, jobs. It's a very serious allegation. One of Brown's former top aides, Bina Patel, seen here on the left, faces perjury charges and wanted information obtained after the FBI searched her cell phone thrown out of court. But Judge Sarah Ellis said no, writing that an FBI agent's affidavit described in great detail an alleged scheme in which individuals are buying positions and promotions. That affidavit also says another worker in Brown's office claimed people seeking employment make payments to employee one, a clerk's office employee, and the clerk, Dorothy Brown, periodically goes to employee one's home to collect the payments. It's an affidavit by an FBI agent, uh, which is a very important piece of evidence, but it's just a piece of evidence. Brown, whose launched a mayoral campaign, has not been indicted, repeatedly calling the allegations lies. And former federal prosecutor Sergio Acosta says, while it's clear Brown is a target, is there any indication here that prosecutors are getting any closer to Dorothy Brown? Uh, again, based on my very limited knowledge, not that I've seen. Bina Patel once managed close to 500 employees in Brown's office. She has pleaded not guilty to lying to a federal grand jury. Reporting live in the newsroom, Derek Blakely, CBS2 News. Robin Erica. Okay, Derek, thank you.